deposits, my gloss is popping. You like my hair? She thinks just Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a curly hair routine because as you can see my hair is crazy. I'm going to show you my everyday curly hair routine and how I get my hair from this to this. Honestly, I'm more of a quick get my hair done type of person than a take hours putting loads of products in. Like, this is my hair at the minute. Like, I've just woke up, I've done nothing to my hair, so it looks a bit crazy. Well, actually, no, it doesn't look that bad. So, I'm going to show you guys my quick curly hair routine. Oh my god, is that an eyelash? That's embarrassing. So first I'm going to go with my Cantu Natural Hair Cream Cleanser Shampoo and basically I don't use a lot of this, that's why it's basically still full. I just take a this much amount and then I wet my hair and I'll just rub it. Basically I did not explain that well. Basically what I do is I just get a blob of the shampoo, rub it into my scalp like you see on the video and then I just let the excess drip through my hair i'd never just shampoo my curls always the scalp i just use excess product on the rest of my hair once i've shampooed my hair i go in with my cantu natural hair hydrating cream conditioner and i like to use a big big blob of this like a lot like that much and that is a lot i could literally go through one of these bottles about twice a month maybe so I'm just going to pop this through my hair. My conditioner, I like to mainly focus on the ends and then just the main bulk of my hair. Because after you've shampooed, my hair personally gets so like dry and knotty. So obviously I use the conditioner to just fix that whole situation. I also like to massage my scalp as well whilst I'm doing conditioner just to stimulate hair growth. So with cloths to dry my hair, I do usually use a microfiber cloth. But mine's actually in the wash at the minute. So I had to just use this cloth that my mum had and I just press I don't don't shake your head because that makes frizz I just pat my hair till it's getting the excess water out and then when I take this out my hair looks a lot more manageable so then what I'm going to go in with is my Cantu natural hair coil calm detangler and this just helps to define my curls because obviously as you can see at the minute like some are defined some are not and I get like quite frizzy hair down here so we need to do that. So I start by putting my hair into two sections. Cute. And then you've got two sections. I do like to just finger detangle my hair because sometimes to shampoo in you can get a bit of a knot then I'm just going to go in with the coil detangler and just spray this on each section and then just bring it through like this so it covers all of the hair And as you can see that coil detangle like the curls are already popping and then i just move on to the next section and then once that is all through my hair you can see the difference And then once I've used the coil calm detangler, I like to go in with the coconut oil shine and mist, which is also from Canto. And then I just spray this. Oh God. Oh. All over my hair, not on my face. I feel like this just adds shine and it also adds an extra moisture to my hair. And that is basically it. I don't use heat on my hair at all. I'll just let this naturally dry, which can take, depending on the heat, it can take about an hour, half an hour, 45 minutes. 
it just depends like usually I'll do my hair first and then do my makeup and then by the time my I'm finished doing my makeup my hair is dry so I know the Cantu natural hair cleansing shampoo goes for seven pound in Tesco and the conditioner is also seven pound in Tesco that's where I got my hair from the coil detangler is six pounds maybe and I think the oil is around six pounds as well so I will come back in an hour or so to show you the difference I'm back and this is my hair after I have let it dry I let it dry for about an hour hour and a half as you can tell it is curled up a lot it was crazy as it was this morning so then basically after i've let my hair dry if i'm not in a rush like these eyelashes oh my god i let it dry for about an hour and a half once it's dried i just like to fluff it out a little bit and give it a bit more volume and i do also go back in with my cantu oil shine and hold mist because you can use this on damp and on dry hair i had to just spritz my hair with it again for the third time this is why i go through so much product because i use too much so now that's done it feels so pale like like i used to hate my hair and now i love it then i just go in with my cantu natural hair extra hold edge stay gel basically i just use, use a little sp spoolie the gel you can get an edge brush but i'm not about paying for an edge brush when i can just use a spoolie which i have loads of because i feel solid so basically i just like to move out of the way and then just go in and just lay whoa, lay my edges down like i'm not like a fancy edge girl so like i don't do any mad tricks i just like to make them not look messy like i'm a bit boring in that sense like i just like them to be neat and then usually at this stage i will if I'm going to tie my hair up, I'll tie my hair up or anything like that. But I think today I'm just going to leave it down, like, just be free. And then that's it, basically. I also want to add that I do do a deep condition once a week. I will insert a clip of the one I use here because I'm not going to with me right now. Yeah, so I do that once a week just to give my hair moisture back just to bring it back to life that was my curly hair routine hope you guys really enjoyed this video please give me a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and i'll be back next week with another video